There's a new bike, guys. There it is, new bike. What is it? I'm a bit of a tease. It's got filthy Olin suspension. Handguards. Hmm, curious. Single-sided swinging arm. Hmm. A red frame. An air-cooled motor. What? There it is, the new bike, a 2007 Ducati Hypermotard 1100S. Not what you're expecting, I bet. So I guess this is going to be a bit of a shock to a few people. Why? Where's the Tuono chops? <laughs> Why have you bought an old Hyper Motard? Well, this is a 20, 2007 bike. I think he said 2017 then. A 2007 bike. This is the first of the Hyper Motards, the original 1100. This is the S version. Woohoo! Which is, the, you know, it's the equivalent to the to the SP. It's got the Marchesini wheels, it's got the Olin shock, it's got the Marzocchi forks, which were the updated ones for the time. They never did an Olin's fork until a bit later on. Um, it's also got a full Terminoni, Oni Oni, exhaust on it. So it's got the full exhaust system, it's got the Ducati Performance cams in it, and the fueling adjustment modules. It's got all the bits on it, and it was a really good price. And I wanted myself a bit of a project. I, you know, all these brand new bikes are lovely, but you're a little bit limited as to what you can do with them because they're so new, so you can't change too much on them. I also looked at old sort of classic 90s bikes, but that's almost the opposite. They're getting, you know, they've got proper retro status now, and you don't want to modify them too much. You want to restore them back to, to factory. You know, they, they need to be restored back to the original condition. So if you want something as a project, it's getting that bike of the right age to be able to do that with. And 2007, the first type of motor, big super moto, at the right price, it seemed too good an opportunity to, to turn down. I've still got the GSX-R at the moment. The GSX-R is now in the Wheels Motorcycle Showroom in Peterborough. So if you want to have a look at that bike, head up to Wheels. They're selling it for me, so it's still mine, but they're selling it for me at the moment. So the, what will happen is when I sell that bike, when it finally goes, I use the money to pay off the loan I got on that, and with the change, I can pay off the finance I got on this. <laughs> so it's, a long, it's like buying a house. There's a long line of finance and loans to be paid as soon as that GSXR is cleared. But I didn't want to lose this bike. This is why I got finance to buy this. I didn't want to lose this one because this had all the right bits on it. It was a great price. Now, this bike is a completely analog bike. It's not even got ABS. This is raw biking. It's fuel injected, but that's as far as the electronics go on this bike. It's all you, which, you know, great. These electronics on these new bikes is fantastic. But a part of me likes the idea of having something which isn't being controlled by a computer. It hasn't been built to meet all this Euro 4, Euro 5 nonsense. When this was sold, it was Euro 3. Euro 3. It just needed a catalyst and that was it. Which has since been taken off because it's got the full termy. So part of me does like the idea of that. When I end up in a hedge, remind me I said here. <laughs> Whoa! Performance wise, it doesn't feel as powerful as the new 950. Feels a little bit off that, but, but not by much to be perfectly honest. Torque wise, I'd say maybe it's even got a bit more. I think these are about 90 brake horsepower on the spec sheet, you know, with the standard exhaust. This one has the full term in the fueling and the cams. So maybe I could be pushing 100. Look at the state of the roads, man. My new bike. Oh, my new bike. Oh, it sounds glorious. I've never owned a Ducati. And I, I just felt like it was a box I needed to tick. I nearly went for the quick shifter there. <laughs> of course. 
Oh, see, that's an F1. The gearbox is beautiful, beautifully smooth gearbox. It doesn't feel agricultural, this engine whatsoever. It feels very, very nice, very smooth. The fueling is also spot on. You know, you, you, you ride an older bike and you realise, you know what? There's still a lot of value in these old machines. You know, I know I'm, I'm guilty of it as anybody. I ride a lot of brand new bikes and you know, 99% of those bikes are absolutely fantastic. But there's still nothing wrong with older bikes like this. This is beautifully fueled. The controls and everything all work beautifully. The clutch is a little bit heavy. It's probably the only criticism with this. It's a slightly heavy clutch. Apart from that, <laughs> it rides, runs beautifully. Oh it is quick. So why did I get one of these? Well, I wanted, as I mentioned, I wanted myself a bit of a project, really. Something that I could take apart, play with, sort of a bit of a restoration as well, because this bike isn't perfect. The reason this was a good price is because it needs a few little jobs to be done on this. The engine casings are actually quite corroded and the paint is flaking off the engine casing. So what I'm going to do is actually remove the engine, repaint all of the engine, send off the casings to be recoated. So go through the whole bike basically, restore and improve. Maybe play with a Translogic quick shifter on it and lots of other stuff. I mean, if anyone's got any advice of what to do to these, I know a few of the subscribers, a few people have got these, let me know guys what I should be looking at. The bike only has five and a half thousand miles on it. So the mileage is very low. Full service history on mileage, not on annually, of course, because the bike has been sat around a lot to have that sort of low mileage on it. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a good one, and I'm really looking forward to getting my hands dirty, properly dirty with an older bike. These new bikes are just too clean, too nice, not a lot you could do with them really. But something like this, I can get stuck into this, and this can be a proper, proper project. is all about fun and I've got a ridiculously fast bike I've got the H2 I want something with more low speed entertainment all the little back lanes this is why I've got this Grunts. oh it sounds glorious Whoa. spinning and wheeling there I am missing a quick shifter a bit. I keep finding myself wanting to change up without using the clutch. Don't do that, Jobs. Oh, it's minging. It's minging. Oh, it's disgusting. My new bike, disgusting. Engine braking is immense. No adjustable engine braking on this old lady. Right, let's go in the pub. We'll do a little walk around in the pub. So there she is in all her Ducati glory. So 2007 Hypermotard 1100S. So 1100cc air-cooled. You can see the fins on the engine there. The S model comes with these carbon fibre cam belt covers, the Marchesini wheels, the Marzocchi forks, uh, the Olin's rear shock. I think that's it. A couple of other little extras is there on the S. Can't remember. This one has the full Termi, full system. But the bad points about this bike is look at the engine. The engine, the paintwork has come off of the casings, but like the actual engine itself. And then the casings, of course, are a little bit corroded as well. The paint's come off the actual engine casings here. So the whole engine, I'm gonna take the whole engine out of this bike, repaint it all, get the side, side casings recoated get the exhaust probably polished i'm gonna i've got a lot of plans for this but it's just mainly the engine really letting it down the engine casing all the body works lovely the paint's lovely the frame's in good condition 
Um, it's all there, the swinging arm's in good condition. It's just, just that engine, once I drop the engine out, do the work I want to do on the engine, she's going to be a minter. So there she is at this time. This is how she is as I've bought her. Let the mods commence. Sounds good, doesn't it? So there we go, guys. I hope you're not too disappointed. There's no Tawono. As I say, I, I wanted something which was more fun at slower speeds. I wanted something which I could really take apart, have a proper project bike. And this is what this is going to be. You know, I could have gone out and, and, and bought myself the new SP version, but I wanted something I could really play with. And, I, you know, that's a lot of money, a brand new one. It's 14, 000, for 14,500 for the SP. I don't want to spend that sort of cash. I want something like this, a third of the cost of a new one. I can take apart, I can mess around with without having to worry about resale value too much. I mean, once I've done the work on this and cleaned the engine, and, you know, this, this, this bike will probably only ever increase in value now. It's getting to that classic status whereby it's the first of its sort and it's a Ducati. You know, this, this bike is thought of as, you know, the best hypermotor. Yeah, it's not quite as sharp as the new one. It's not quite as sharp as the new 950, but it's not a million miles away. I'd say straight out the box, this feels 85, 95% as much fun as the new one. And that's before I started tinkering. And it's a third of the cost. Let's creep it around here. to know the important stuff. Amazing amount of mechanical grip. I can't believe it's, it's slipping, it's spinning a little bit, but an incredible amount of grip in these conditions. These roads are wet through. I'm happy. I bought this on literally based on a quick trip around the block. Literally a three minute ride. And I'm not disappointed. It's not as sharp as the new one, but I didn't expect it to be quite as sharp as that new one. But it's not far off, and there's plenty I could do to this to sharpen it up further. The actual geometry of the bike is incredibly light on its feet, probably more so than the new one. You're sat literally on the nose on this. You know, it's that typical supermoto, wide bars, arms out, sat over the front, turns on a tenpence piece. It's going to be brilliant on the dry road. You're going to have to really throw this around. Oh, it'll be great on a track like Brands. Oh, oh yeah, I can't wait. You, sir, sound epic. There we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry if you're disappointed. You know, we've not got a new Tawano, no lovely as a new Tawano would be. I wanted something a bit more sensible for the streets. And this is it. <laughs> when you're saying a hypermotard is your sensible option, you know you're a bit of a hooligan. See you later, guys. This is power level one, which is full power. Absolutely bonkers. It's also pretty quick. 